So we have to start at zero degrees with the pitch and then during the flight up I can put it up at plus 30 degrees. I launched uh, the mission. It's important that you be in F mode if you use missions. Ruby mission, start mission, confirm. <laughs> You can see on the small picture that the gimbal is at plus 30 degrees. And this mission takes a full spherical optimized panorama. We turn. And in the first code I have no gimbal setting. The first gimbal setting is coming here. Now it's pitching to zero degrees. And it goes in the other direction. It's similar to the autopilot and Leechy app with the difference that I have intelligent number of pictures per row. At the end, important not to forget the scenic pictures. I will take two ones. Now it's pitching again to minus 30 degrees. So the first start were here and the first automatic landing was here. It's about uh, one meter. You can always stop the mission if you go to P mode. And between the rows, I change the altitude about two feet. That's this noise that you can hear always. Now it's picturing me and it will come down. So I will better take control of the remote. Perfect landing. So everything is quite doing well. I, I recognized if I put up the pitch before I start to plus 30 degrees, there is a problem. So we have to start at zero degrees with the pitch and then during the flight up I can put it up at plus 30 degrees. Now I will change the batteries. It's cold weather, always take care that you use not to 30 and in cold weather I have the, the battery heater it's quite warm now don't forget to stop before I put it in so first thing with the DJ GO app I will check the camera settings before I launch the mission I use ISO 100 and important for the white 
sunny or cloudy I will use sunny manual settings now for security reason I kill the DJ go up check that I be in F mode preview the mission just go away put the gimbal at zero degrees and now we will start the mission confirming As you can see again here, I'm at plus 30 degree. Now it's pitching to zero degrees and go backwards on the horizon. Another big advantage if you take pictures from left to right to left you have no drifting issues one row it's always nearly at the same time if you take up down up down from the first to the last pictures you have several minutes and you can have big uh, drifting issues with that I prefer this method to go from left to right to left you have never drifting issue with that I had here the sound that was changing the altitude. Every time I change the pitch angle, I change also the altitude. You can have only 15 commands for mission code at the same position. So that's a little trick. And at the end, at minus 60 degrees, I take only four pictures. One advantage with this big field, I have no issues with landing, you see, it was here, it was here, I was started here, so it's always in about one meter, but now if you go into the snow, my camera is a little bit snowy. So now I'm back in the Dichigo app. I started in this direction so I will take picture and picture 90 degrees that's for the Zenit shot so you can later on fix that in auto Pano Giga So I have still enough battery, I will launch another mission, just check the camera. I just changed the altitude for 200 feet and <coughs> we will see uh, what happens. 30 uh, meters it's not high enough for this Terra, so it will be better to be at 60 meters. Now we are minus 60 only four pictures and as I explained before no drifting issues with this method so bad we started here now I'm here don't forget to take the Zenit pictures a little bit difficult with snow